normally the, uh, the leaves are hanging on the tree uh, for a little bit longer and it's always the cold weather that really takes them off but that storm took the leaves off this one. Well here we are, this is uh, this Acer Macrophylla and uh, you can see the big pot I put it in but Bernie Guinness, the garden designer, she's done a lot of Chelsea. What she's actually doing now, because what happens is that the soil, the soil gets absolutely solid uh, in there. And you can see it doesn't get the nutrition, nutrition that it needs. And uh, what she actually does, out of these big pots, she cuts the, the base out, the bottom, literally the base out, and she sits them in positions and just allows the water to permeate through because it gets hard and then the tree struggles. Do it, Alice, and I'm going to cut an old head of that one. Well, good morning. I'm looking my best this morning. Sunday morning. At least I've had a shave. Um, just having a clean up here. This is where we put some of the logs from the log store so we don't have to run out in the rain and the wet. And uh, usually good seasoned logs. Like, I haven't got that many at the moment. And hey, winter is upon us without a doubt. I think sometimes that I'm in denial about the. Um, I'm in denial about a lot of things, but certainly about my age. But certainly. I'm in denial sometimes about the weather conditions and winter setting in in autumn simply because I want a short winter and that's my thought process on it and uh, you know you go out every morning and uh, you want to wear those short sleeves and what have you but the fact is I can't it's, it's freezing cold it's it's very wintry this morning it's not just damp wet and windy it's cold there we are just adjusted the uh, the camera ah oh, that's better huh? Uh, anyway, um, seriously, many thanks to everybody out there that uh, wished uh, wished us the best uh, about the last video. Have a look at that, check it out. Um, but I thought to myself, can I bring content at the moment? Well, the fact is I can bring some content. What we can do, not that I'm the BBC, but we can revisit. I don't want to repeat, uh, of course, and seeing it like that way is watching those repeats on the BBC on a regular basis. But what I want to try and do is I want to go back and have a look at... Um, some of the things that we've done uh, because we get lots of questions that are asked over and over again and you just need to go back and have a look at some of the old previous videos so let's go back let's have a look and you will see mistakes uh, but that's the idea about this channel is to promote good dialogue and um, just point things out to me so I can change uh, and adjust and change the errors of my way and try to improve so let's go back and have a look. Don't forget, subscribe. Well, we've arrived and we're at Proctor Solar Nursery again. We're here, we've returned. The gates are shut. Let's give Dan a ring. <laughs> That's quite funny. He's, he's up, he's ready. But I've had to let myself in, like one of the family. okay <laughs> seriously just tell me a little bit just very briefly about what we got here and what you were saying about Hampton Court yeah these were ready for Hampton Court obviously the show's not on this year but they would have been lovely the crop was the crop was timed <coughs> to perfection and they're flowering lovely now and they're still here is this an award-winning plant it's a, a red back here yeah it's a nice plant. It's um so this would have been at the RHS Hampton Court. Yeah, and I yeah. think it is the year of the Rebecca this year. The year of the Rebecca? I think it is, yeah. Let's get some out. Okay, Dan, what have you got there? We've got Cranium, Rosanna. Vibrant blue flower, it likes any condition really apart from waterlogged soil. Early flowering, flowers early until first frost. Very hard, it's been noted the plant of the century by the RHS. There you are, Dan, you've got some uh, big balls there. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, and uh, are they Dutch stock? They're Dutch stock, box ball. Good quality? Good quality. Yeah. Nice and tight. Yeah, and that's what you want, don't you? You don't want to plant that the falls, falls loose as well, do you? That's it. And do these go on Royal Mail as well? Not quite, not just yet. No, well, no. If, if you were to buy one of these, you'd either deliver it themselves or find another yeah. carrier. So there's people out there which can do it. It just makes another job and makes it really easy to sort of manage. Then you can integrate granules of that. You can integrate sort of lollipop plants as well, which standards, which stand above. Got to get some paint out now. Good day for painting. Um, yeah, that was Proctor's Nursery. Uh, great guys, uh, meeting Matt and um, Mr. Proctor himself, Barry, and uh, Dan the man. Um, great guys, um, just knew their stuff up there. Some great plants and such a wide range and variety of plants and, and plenty of them. So um, I'll be including Proctor's Nursery in this, uh, in this vlog, but uh, where should we go next? Yeah, we've got to make sure the bin's down, get the bins out ready for tomorrow morning. They won't take the bins. So in our next clip, we shot over to um, Western Supermare to see uh, Richard, who's a real character, and we met uh, Steve, the stone specialist. Well, here we are, end of the day, and it's absolutely pouring down now, but we've made decent progress, so I'm happy with that. That's it. Now's the time to say, let's call it quits. Well, Richard's had his orders now how we're going to con conduct this uh, video. Richard, it's the end of the day, it's absolutely pouring down. And your conclusion on arriving back to base? Well, I was very, very pleased to see John and his team here. Great, uh, great job. They've done the final work on the patio. It's gone amazingly well. Difficult uh, conditions, a lot of rain. Really, a, basically a shitty day, and these guys have stood uh, stood to, carried on, and done a great job. Well done, John. Thanks very much. We haven't crossed the tape yet, though, have we? No, 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 no. This, I think we're going to uh, blow a few bottles of bubbly and a few beers when it's done. This has been an amazing project, taking quite a few months, but stunning, absolutely stunning. And uh, the, the features that John has, co has come up with, a little bit of ad-libbing, um, truly amazing. Great, great guy, great creative mind. Beautiful landscape gardener, highly recommend him. Just quickly though, good things come to those who wait, isn't it apparently? Well, so they say, I've waited, but by God, I've got a good thing. So well done, John. Good morning, it's me, it's Johnny Boy, and I'm with Steve, right? And before I start talk about Steve, Steve has done an amazing job on this. This is a chapel, isn't it? It's a chapel, yeah. This is a chapel. If you look at the stonework up there, you can see how it's discoloured. There's, look at the stonework here. This is what Steve's actually done here. And before we talk to Steve, look at this. Look at look. This is this archway. It looks absolutely stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. But look at over here. All this, these railings. It was these railings were. They were just, just all paint, paint years of paint, years wasn't it, Steve? Paint, yes. And what have you had to do to get it back to that condition? Well, it's all been stripped back to bare metal. Totally. Primed and, yeah, back to bare metal, primed and several painted. coats. Yeah, two, two coats of primer and then two coats of paint. Look, there's a lot of people, Steve, who want to know, right, and, you know, you've got to be a specialist at doing this, haven't you? You've got to know what you're doing it. Oh, you of know. course you have, yeah. I, I, and I'll tell you now, many years ago, I actually put some caustic gel on some... some but is this like bath stone, isn't it, this sort of stuff? Yeah, this is bath stone, yeah. Yeah, this is bath stone. So, the process, how do you get that? What's the process to get that back to looking as good as what it is? Well, it's just chemically cleaning it. Yeah. Yeah. 
But knowing the right chemicals, isn't it? Yeah, different chemicals for different stones. Yeah, so you yeah. wouldn't suggest anyone to go out and do this because they could run into trouble, couldn't they? Oh, you could just get some patio cleaner and put that on there, but... It's not it's, the same. It's not the, not same, the same, no. Yeah. And, uh, and you do a bit of sandblasting as well, don't you? Yeah, we do the sandblast, stone repairs. Yeah, and it's... Yeah. And it, this is this is the thing about knowing your trade and understanding it. I've done a little bit of this before, but what do I actually know about it? If you're going to go down this route, you need to get a professional in and get it done right. Because this, there is nothing like this is like like the day it went up now, really, isn't it? When you look when you look yeah, at it, it looks absolutely fantastic. It, like you know, you got a lot more to do here, Steve. Uh, another few weeks, yeah. Right. Well, I have to say, I think you've done a cracking job, and it's like it's just a fresh face, and that's what you want, isn't it? It's going to look really attractive. Love. So, back in, out of the wet, um, Alison's busy in the background there doing something and uh, if she knew I was doing a video, uh, <laughs> she wouldn't be happy. Um, lots to do. So, in our next clip, we revisit the Indian honed stone. That's the smooth stone, almost like a worktop. It's an absolutely beautiful product. and uh, But you've got to work very, very careful with Indian honed stone and uh, you've got to keep it clean. And as soon as it comes out of the package, you'll find that it tends to start getting a little bit dirty because it does soak up uh, all the water. But nev nevertheless, it's a beautiful product. Uh, we talked about pre-sealing, I think, if I remember about this uh, product. And I think pre-sealing is definitely the way forward. But have a look at this, this uh, clip here now because it will show a little bit of time lapse, how we slur at the back of the slabs, how we lay in the slabs and how we got on. Great clients and just turned out absolutely perfect. Take a look at this. Well, we've got our paving in. We've got more in the van. We've got some sand in the van. We've got our sharp sand there. It's all sharp for me uh, on paving now. And uh, just been talking to a client now and showing how we could possibly lay it out, just avoiding those cross joints because of the keyboard warriors. But there you go. So we're going to see what we can get done on here now. It's a Saturday morning. I very rarely work a Saturday morning now, but these are great guys down here. And I want to get it done for them. And we want to deliver. And as you can see, this is our lean mix. A bit stony on top there in places. But we have whacked it several times. And this is absolutely solid. This isn't going anywhere at all. So without any further ado, time for the string line. We going? Yep. Right, okay, if you come a bit closer here. Okay, um, so really for a sandstone patio, you're looking for um, what we call a turn of a bubble, okay? A turn of a bubble. So the bubble's on the line, the one side here, okay? There's three lines there, and it's in the middle one. Now what you want for a paving, you want three mil, you want basically three mil on, on every foot, which is like, say about nine mil over a metre, that's what we're looking for. So now, this level here, this level is, I'll show you, there we are, 1.8. So you've got 1.8, so it's just under 2 metres. On that, if I was to measure down on there and get it level, we have over 1.8, we have nearly 30 mil, nearly 30 mil. So there's a good fall on there. And like I said, that... Um, each level, each level when you put the sub base in, and uh, we put a dry lean on here, we put a, 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 an MOT type one, then we've got the, um, the, uh, the lean mix, and each, the level is reflecting the finished laying course. That's what you've got to look at. So we've got 30 mil there over, over nearly two meters, okay? So that's more than sufficient. And if you look at that, it's not, it's not looking as if it's just running away, on, you know, and uh, it's on a big slope. So that will work out perfect. Right, there's our laying pattern. We've got some cuts to do in the corner, but we'll do those later. We're going to start from here, and then we're going to work back, and we're going to keep it square. We don't know whether that wall at the moment, we haven't got a set square on there, whether it's running out, but we're only going over three metres anyway, so it wouldn't look so bad. But what you wouldn't want is you need to keep your paving square with a house.
Well, it looks worse than what it really is. It's just we're having a shower. I think we're going to get out of this car in a minute and just let that go around. But let's just show you where we are at the moment. So we've just been going. It's not like speed, but we've been going just over an hour, hour 15 minutes. And uh, this is what we've done now. So what car, that's it. I know you're going. There we are. This is how we've moved on now and uh, quite rapidly. The thing, what we've got to make sure is that we keep laying to the house side to make sure that we're square with the house and that's what we've been doing. And uh, like I said, you've got to just, I've checked off there now to make sure we go off the line. And whatever we've got there, we're 1,556. Might have a difference there. 1 meter 555, there's 1 mil again. We've got to make sure we keep over there and then we just rack back as we go, keep going on in that uh, diagonal format. We'll stop for a minute. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's always good to, to look back because there's lots of things that I picked up and things that I never noticed before and things I need to sharpen up on without a shadow of a doubt. Um, that's it, so thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any requests or um, if you've got any ideas or you just want a good healthy dialogue and you wanna to talk to me, feel free to call. You can subscribe to the channel. You can drop us an email at info at greentoplandscapes.co.uk. <laughs> She's got me doing a few things today, I bet you, because it's not good out there. Hey, be safe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.